with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Light. In the last episode, we did some one to one training with Coach Evans, and in this episode, we agreed to do his shopping. Well, let's get on with it at least. Yeah, the shops are still open. Let's split up my shopping list. Here, Arian, you look for these. Cheers for helping out, by the way. And we need to get grapefruit, tea bags, and French bread. If you lose the list and forget what I wanted you to get, just ask me again. Thanks a bunch. So grapefruit, some tea bags, and some French bread. Wow, French bread, fancy. And this is genuinely something we have to do. We actually have to go to the shops and buy the right things as a bit of a memory quiz. We can talk to Coach Evans to get some kind of reminder. So we need tea bags, because it's the tale of the toaster, I live in the UK. French bread, because JP lives in France. And grapefruit, because, I don't know, Super Mario Sunshine, I guess. There's no punishment for getting it wrong. You can bring him completely the wrong items and he just gives you a, a little bit of dismay in his response. Ah, bears me wee Arian. What can I do for you, pet? <laughs> you can just explain why the Inazuma 11 localization team always loves to throw in accents at random. Grapefruit for Mario Sunshine. Tea bags for Tale of the Toaster. And French bread. Except none of these options actually say French bread, and the top two items are both French breads sold in France. Well, literally, how am I supposed to know whether it's a baguette or a croissant? I genuinely don't even know. I guess the croissant sounds a little more like how I envision French bread, which is just a very soft kind of bread, but something else in its own right. But nevertheless, if we bring the right items back to Coach Evans, then we do get a very, very small reward. And by very small, I'm talking kind of a special move manual for a move that we've already got on one of our team members. That level of small. But we might as well get it right, right? Cheers, Arin, you're a lifesaver. Here, this is for you. My way of saying thanks. And we get Log Roll, which is Ade Kebe's dribbling move, which I would never want to give to anyone other than Ade. I'm just glad we made it in time. I guess all that food shopping's made me hungry. Why don't you come round and have dinner at mine? Really? Are you sure? Of course. Come on. Hi, it's me. I'm just on my way now. One of the kids from the football club's coming over for dinner as well. Can you make a bit extra? So, uh. Who was that? My wife? You... You... I didn't know you were married! I'm back! Anyone home? Huh? Hello, Mark! <laughs> Hello there. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Evans. Oh. You must be Arian. Of course, you had to be. Mark's always talking about you. By the way, Nelly, here's the stuff you asked me to grab from the shops. Well, um, this isn't quite what I asked for. Were you holding the list upside down? I bet my husband got you to do his job for him, didn't he, Arian? I'm sorry about that. Anyway, dinner time. Coach Evans' wife is so pretty. Yeah, she's got a pretty different voice as well, and... Certainly lost a lot of height growing up. She always used to be taller than Mark Evans. But look at this, we're actually in his house. And not only that, we just got to see a version exclusive cutscene. We finally get to talk about what makes this game different to Go Shadow. And the weirdest thing, but also one of the best things at the same time, is that Mark Evans has a different wife, depending on which version of the game you pick. Now, Nellie Evans is certainly part of the reason why I picked this version of the game to play, because in the anime, Nellie is Mark's canonical wife. But there is a very, very solid option in Shadow as well, which we'll talk about later into the episode. For now, let's have dinner. Wow! This looks delicious! You're a growing boy, so I've piled a lot. 
got under your plate. I can't wait. Time to dig in. Well, Arian, is it good? Uh, yeah. Yummy. Glad to hear it. I'll just go and get you some more. Coach, why is it so... Just eat it. That's part of growing up. I try to imagine I'm eating something else. Oh, does that work? There you are. Veg for a balanced diet. Thanks. Oh, yes. I heard from my father about the B-block results. Pirate's Cove are confirmed as your opponents in the final. No surprise there. And I hear they dominated the match, even though there were no match directives. There's a rumour they're all Imperials. What? The whole team? So it really is hopeless if I can't work out how to summon a fighting spirit. It sounds like this summoning business is actually quite difficult. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. But he's already got the makings of a summoner. He just needs to know how to trigger it. I see. Mark, when you were in a match, you'd always concentrate so hard on protecting the goal, and that's what made you succeed. If Arian wants to summon his fighting spirit, maybe he just needs to concentrate really hard too. Hmm, yeah. Maybe I just haven't been concentrating hard enough. Wait, hang on a minute, Nelly. Did you already know your dad was in the resistance? Yes, I'm sorry for keeping it from you, but the fact that Ryman started rebelling on their own really helped them out. Thanks to you, the Resistance has had time to set up their base at Royal Academy. He's really grateful. Ah, and if you told us about it, it could have messed up the whole plan. Fair enough. I get the feeling the coach's wife wears the trousers around here. I get the feeling you might be right. <laughs> so, Ade, why are we doing this again? Eee, you dafty, how else are we going to catch the fish? Nah, man, you just seemed a bit doon. I thought a spot of fishing had put a reet big smile on your face, like... I don't know what I'm gonna do, to be honest. We've only got a few days until the match, and I've no idea how to summon a fighting spirit. It's a toughie. And on top of that, Pirates Cove might all be Imperials. But if we beat them, I bet that'll be the revolution sorted. Pretty much. Do you really think we can carry out something as grand as a revolution? A part of me thinks it's a perfectly good idea, ignoring what Fifth Sector say and playing football the way we want to. But th then I think the probability of success is just so low. We're only school kids after all. You're not thinking about giving up or anything, are you, Eugene? That wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense? I don't know. Sometimes the way you're so blindly optimistic doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sorry for that. Ah, oh, this dog, what's it doing? Spotter, Auntie Sylvia! Thank goodness you're still here. I got a phone call from Skye. She wants you to meet her at school right away. She was in a bit of a tiz. Why couldn't she just ring me? I wonder what's happened. Well, anyway, let's go. Could you please stop your licking and leave me be? Roof! So that's a bit of a downplayed scene here in the game, but actually in the anime, they make a much bigger deal out of Eugene's little moment there. He has a really pertinent line of, well, Arian asks him if he's thinking of giving up and he just said, if I had the courage to give up, I would have done it a long time ago. So that kind of tells you what to think about Eugene Peabody, really. But nevertheless, he's still on our team and he won't be going anywhere. That pessimism kind of carries on into the match in the anime. But here, that's kind of all it is. First rank Imperial Victor Blade. Fifth Sector says it be us to got to throw you out with the bilge water, you scurvy sea dog. <laughs> I thought you'd be here sooner. Who are you? Where'd this sunny Lola land lovers come from? I love that, they're creepy. Are you careful not to shiver the timbers too much, Kraken? Even if you do have a face like a swollen sea urchin. <laughs> That's enough of your interrupting scallywags. 
Anywho, if you must know, we be from Pirate's Cove Merchant Marine Academy, and I be the team's captain, Davy Jones. We be here to give this well-deserved keel all into this blackguard blade, traitor as he is to the Imperial name. You're from Pirate's Cove? Victor's gonna be punished? Oh no! More of Fifth Sector's lapdogs. What did you say, matey? Lapdogs? I'll make shark bait out of you! Ah! What's going on? We be flying the Fifth Sector flag at full mast, with sworn our oath to it. We be Imperials and proud. We won't be letting anyone lambast us for it. Savvy? You're proud of being Imperials? Ridiculous! You'll be coming with us now, Blade. We've fixed the perfect place to punish the woe-begotten misfit that you are. You are! Wait, Victor, don't go with them. This is none of your business. This is awful. First of all, we're up against an incredibly powerful team. And then to make things worse, I think we just lost Blade. Well, at least we've got you on the team now, right? Not if I have anything to do with it. Let's go after them. I think they're heading towards the tower. Let's get a move on. Sometimes I do question how you know these things. You're just thinking of yourself, Mark Evans, because you always want to go to the tower. So, I actually put Victor back into my party, so let's not make the same mistake I had in previous episodes and actually put Vic someone with a special move back. Oh, Rick Ricardo's gone back in automatically. Fair enough. So that gives me finally a bit of chance to talk about Mark's alternative wife. So again, Nelly is the canonical one and probably makes the most sense because she was the one who showed the biggest affections towards Mark in the original series and she's got the most money. But if you were playing in Azuma 11 Go Shadow, then his wife would actually be Camellia Travis or Cammy, or Cam Cam, whatever you prefer. So that's another really solid shout. Someone who did have feelings for him in the original games. Probably someone that I like more as a character, if you ask me to compare Nelly and Cammy directly. But yeah, Nelly probably makes a little bit more sense. Obviously, Cammy is a much better cook for that particular scene. I think that goes without saying, if you just eat her food, then they perfectly enjoy it. Whereas the scene where they hate Nelly's cooking is just hilarious. I could watch that again and again and always laugh. It's brilliant. But that doesn't mean to say that Cammy Travis won't be in this game. She will still be in both versions in her own time. And why does this goalkeeper have power spike? And why is this Aubergine taking the ball away? Good grief. I even made sure to make sure I had a good team for this particular match, and now the- I'm just doing a random encounter so I can talk about Cammy Travis in more detail. This isn't meant to be difficult. But yes, so... Nelly ultimately is the one that's more canon, but Cammy Travis is a perfectly good alternative. So, it's down to personal opinion which you think is the better wife for Mark. I am not showing any more of this. I only won with 20 seconds left on the clock, even when I used Ricardo's fighting spirit. But one last thing I want to point out about the Mark wife thing, he actually has a different father-in-law, depending on which wife he has. He either gets Coach Travis as a really scary father-in-law, or Mr. Ryman. Either way, it's always someone in the resistance. But what did you think, matey? Got a grand view of the town from here, don't ya? Take a hearty look while you can. Soon you'll be deep in Davy Jones's locker, along with me pencil case and me mouldy old packed lunch. Just get on with it, will you? I don't have all day. Stop! Let him go! What are you idiots doing here? I told you this is none of your business. You don't know how malicious Fifth Sector can be. 
They won't just forgive someone who stabs them in the back. This was my fault. I'm taking responsibility. Don't get involved. But no, don't start acting like a loner again. You promised we could keep playing football together. We're a team, Victor. We're the Ryman Eleven. If one of our teammates is in trouble, we have to help. <sighs> Shiver me chopsticks! You're making me cry with all this teammatey talk! Can't we just let him go? No, we can't, you lily-livered layabout. Gar, we may as well. If, and only if, ye can beat us in a manly match of footy, avast! Indeed, so if the last random encounter I had was anything to go by, I might struggle with this a tad. Maybe I need to rely on my fighting spirit again. Well, no, because for the very first time, we're actually having a mission objective outside of a main 11-a-side match, and Arian is in completely the wrong area of the pitch to make this happen. I need to get him into this orange circle to have it taken from him. Uh, I'll teach you. But just so tough. Is it really true? Nothing but Imperials? The whole team? That's weird. They aren't using any special moves at all. <laughs> We'd like to be adult enough to show you what's up our sleeves! Besides, we don't need any scurvy special moves to sink the lakes a year! For now, we just have to get the ball back, no matter what! Even if it means using a fighting spirit to do so! But no, JP is just automatically in position, so we'll just do it straight away. So that we can have it taken from our brand new player, Shun. If we lose this battle, who knows what'll happen to Victor? I can't let it come to that. I want to keep playing football with Victor, with the whole team. He'll be fine. It has to be. He has that aura around him again. It's clearer than ever before. There's a wind starting to blow all around Arian. This must be. Ah, that ball is mine! And we can now use Whirly Whirly, keeping in the theme of really silly move names for Arian, but I love it. It's better than Spiral Draw, the Japanese name. That's too literal. Arian, you did it. You, po you pulled off that new defensive move, Whirly Whirly. Yep, it's all because you helped me with my training, coach. What are you blithering about? This match ain't over. I'll swab the deck with a lot of you. Captain, your phone's ringing. Give me that! Gah, ringing me at this time! It's funny because my mum's tried to ring me during this recording as well. Six alive! Who this be? Oh, yes, me lord. Understood. It's those landlubbers' lucky day. We got orders to retreat. Oh, I was just getting into all the archie-margie, Captain! Pipe down! Emperor Zabel says we're to leave Blade B, so that be what we're doing. You got that? The Holy Emperor himself. Listen up, you scurvy sacks of barnacle bait. This'll be the next match you ever have before walking the plank. Yar! I'm so glad you're all right, Victor. <laughs> I didn't exactly ask you to come and save me. I know, I know, but I'm still glad. And we've got him back, and we clearly need him <laughs> in, in our squad. Can it be said, though, is that really the team we're taking on in the final? Yeah, they're all Imperials, but they're a complete joke. The whole lot of them, come on. Um, you know that revolution resting on our shoulders? It's just got a lot heavier. Well, I know just where I like to go when I feel like that. 
Why don't you come along too? I bet you'll love it. Where are we going? You'll see. It's my favourite place. Anyway, just come with me. I'll show you something really cool. Well, yeah, if we're already in the tower, then what more could we possibly do? There is a magic move salesman here, but again, as usual, don't expect it to be anything good. There's a training spot, which we'll quickly do. I don't want to break the mood too much, but it's a, it's a catch one, so there's only one person we could possibly use this on. Classic Mark Evans style catch the tire, and of course, because he's our only goalkeeper, he got it spot on first try. Nice one, Sam. We, there will be no stop in use. So, this area looks exactly the same as it did in the original Inazuma 11 series. You couldn't possibly change the tower and hope to get away with it. That's exactly the right thing to do. There's even people fishing over here, so no doubt Adikibi would really get along with it. If you see what I'm seeing, there's a palpaka who is literally a dog. But, again, oh, we, we can get Karamas, I guess, we'll, we'll take on her. But then we're going to scale the tower because, you know, this is um, a moment that I'm kind of distracting from. Coach Evans, what exactly is it that you like to see up here on this tower? I mean, if you knew Coach Evans, you knew this was where we were going. We were already in the tower. What a view! Oh no, this used to be me and my granddad's favourite place in the whole world. Whenever anything about football was making me feel blue, I'd come here and it'd help me get psyched again. Looking down at all the trees from here makes my worries seem so small. Victor, about Davy Jones. He said he was proud of being an Imperial. I've never heard anyone say that before. It seems ridiculous to me too. Imperials basically check that each school is following Fifth Sector's orders. Some use force to make people obey, while some don't even reveal the fact that they're Imperials and control the team in secret. But they're all players who have received elite training from Fifth Sector. Among their ranks, there are a lot of very powerful spirit summoners. Jones is one. I wondered whether he was. I guess you knew all along. I heard once a rumor about a player who trained especially hard as an Imperial. So hard that he set his sights as a spirit summoner even higher and rose through the ranks to become a captain. That would explain why he's so proud of being an Imperial. A fighting spirit is a kind of power hidden deep within you but given physical form. It's a crystallization of your will to be a better player. But it all depends on how strong that will is. Hmm. Sherwind, you have the ability. In that match against Davy Jones, I felt as if that power was trying to burst out of you stronger than ever. Yeah, I thought it might have just been my new whirly whirly thing, but no, there's definitely more to it than that. I can feel it. Right, and I'm going to help you unleash your fighting spirit. Sound good? Yep! Time to stop doubting myself! Let's do this! So that we will! In the next episode we're going to work on getting Arian Sherwin's fighting spirit. For now, I'm just going to enjoy the view.